What is a blog? A blog, or weblog, is a regularly updated website or page that is written by an individual or small group in an informal or conversational style. Blog features include individual ownership, a hyperlinked post structure, updates that are displayed in reverse chronological order, and an archival of postings. The three main types of blogs include filter, where the author comments on content of other sites or topics, personal journals, where the author writes about their life, thoughts, and feelings, and knowledge logs, where the author makes observations recording relevant references about a particular domain of knowledge. Why should you use blogs in higher education? Blogs enable learners to express individualism and explore their identity, encourage responsibility and pride in their work, and can help improve motivation and participation. Fertig and Trammell also note that blogs assist students in becoming subject matter experts through a regular process of scouring, filtering, and posting. Blogs also increase student interest and ownership in learning, allowing learners to participate in a community of practice, providing opportunities for diverse perspectives. Blogs have also been used in higher education in a variety of ways. For example, as a learning journal or knowledge log to gather relevant information and ideas pertaining to specific topics, to record personal or everyday life, to express emotions or feelings, to interact or communicate with other people, as an assessment tool and as a task management tool. Farmer and others provide recommendation for good blogging practice in higher education. Be clear and supportive about the formative assessment aspect of blogs. Invite students to set their own goals for blog usage, above and beyond a quantity measurement. Encourage and model risk-taking. Ensure there is adequate technical support available. Build early feedback and interactivity into the experience. Provide adequate instruction to ensure that everyone can access the tool at least once in a fully scaffolded environment. Let's look at the blog tool on Blackboard. It includes two items, blog entries and comments. Entries can include text, attachments, and multimedia. Comments are responses to the entry made by other students or the instructor. You have three options when setting up a blog in Blackboard. Course blogs allow anyone in the class to contribute, while individual blogs allow for entries by one student only. Group blogs can be set up in the group spaces. To get started, go to the control panel, open Course Tools, and select Blogs. This opens the blog page, showing all previously created blogs. Click Create Blog to start a new one. On the Create Blog page, enter a name for the assignment and instructions in the space provided. Scroll down to choose Availability, Date Restrictions, and Participation Type, Individual or Course. Scroll down to select Indexing Options and Grading, then click Submit. This is a blog. Notice the student entry with the instructions on the right. Clicking the Comment button opens a box for you or other students to enter comments. When grading a blog, you will see the instructions followed by the student entry. You will enter grade and feedback in the pane on the right. Now you can get started with blogs. Visit the Blackboard help pages for more information or contact the Instructional Development Department at University College for assistance. Created using Powtoon.